There are 125 heroes currently in the game and there are only a few heroes that stays on top and are very hard to pick. But there are few hidden gems whose values isn't really known by many players. So what are they? How good are they? Can they beat the current meta heroes? Well, don't worry, I'm here to answer that question. Hi guys, Kazuki here, and in this video, we are here to look at all the underrated heroes in this meta. First on the list is Edith, who just has a pick rate of 0.34% in Mythical Glory Plus. Edith is not only a great hero in every role, she is an excellent frontline that everyone should use. Her damage is proportional to the defense she has, so as she becomes tankier, she deals more damage in her ultimate. So she is going to be filling two roles at once. She also has excellent CC chain skills that are hard to dodge. I can't wrap my brain around that she just has a 0.34% pick rate. Guys, she is going to be OP next season because of the new Thunder Belt that is going to be coming although you can't build so many stakes on it. You can still have a decent amount of stakes by the end of the game. This is a perfect time to learn Edith. Here are the suggested builds and emblems. Next up is Carmilla with a slightly higher pick rate of 0.35%. Don't let these numbers fool you. Carmilla is an incredible asset, especially in team fights. Her ability to link enemies together, causing them to share damage and debuff can turn the tides of any battles. It's a mystery why she isn't picked more often, given how well she synergizes with popular AoE heroes. Although she might be squishy compared to other tanks, she more than makes up for it with her mobility and CC. And it's not easy to kill a Carmilla, you know. If you are looking for a game-changing support, Carmilla might just be your secret weapon. Here are the sinister builds and emblems for Sicilian's girl. Moving on, we have Valir at a pick rate of 0.34%. Valir's crowd control capabilities are top notch and his ability to disrupt enemy formation shouldn't be underestimated. Valir can effectively keep enemies at bay while dishing out consistent damage. He is the biggest counter to all the pesky assassins that have to close distance to take you out. And if you are just caught in one combo, you are pretty much done. And many people say that you have to land all your fireballs to make Valir work. This is true, but in a team fight, if you hit them with a perfectly placed 2 1 combo, is there anything that they can even do? Because they will be stunned instantly, at, and all you have to do is spam your fireballs at them. If you are tired of being overrun by aggressive opponents, just pick Valir. He will push them away for you. Use these builds and emblems to maximize your firepower. Next is Ixia, who comes in with a pick rate of 0.51%, is another underutilized gem. Known for her range and CC, Ixia can navigate through team fights and can ease and can target the entire team with just her ultimate. Although she might be weak in the early game and struggle against lane bullies like Brody, in the late game she can easily outclass the whole team. Her ultimate can devastate grouped enemies, making her an excellent choice for those who thrive on chaos and disruption. With a bit of practice, you can make Ixia a nightmare for the opposing team. All you need to master her positioning and the timing of her ultimate. If someone in your team picks heroes who have AoE CC like Arlo, Tigrel, Atlas, she will be unstoppable. Here are the sister builds and emblems for you to take everyone down with Ixia. Saber, just slightly more popular at 0.53%, is often overlooked despite his potential to single out and eliminate key targets. His ability to lock down an enemy with his ultimate makes him invaluable for picking off high-value targets. Saber's ever since rework has only enhanced his lethality, making him a great pick for those who want to focus on assassination and quick escape. Even if your enemy is the hardest hero and is too fast, all you need to do is 1-2-3 or 1-3-2. They are just defeated from the map like they are nothing. Here are the suggested builds for you to take down your enemies with ease. Moving on, we have CC with a pick rate of 0.63%. 
Cece versatility in roles from a disruptive support to an annoying poke heroes make her uniquely valuable. Her skills allows her to hinder multiple enemies at once, providing incredible utility during clashes. And she is a new type of CC which is really annoying and she is just so hard to catch if you don't have dash or dive skills. In the late game, she also becomes so tanky while dealing so much damage with her first skill. She is also very strong EXP laner because it's so hard to close distance if you are up against her. But she will struggle against the current meta heroes but with practice, you can overcome them. Here are the sinister builds and emblems for you to dance all over your enemies. Continuing with Nana, who boasts epic rate of 0.87%. Often underestimated, Nana has a knack for turning fights around with her Molina transformations and burst magic damage. Her passive skills provides a surprising amount of survivability, allowing her to escape from death once per battle. Nana's utility makes her a new sense to deal with in lane and a powerful disruptor in team fights. She still is one of the most annoying heroes to play against, and you can see that from her ban rate in all ranks. I can't understand why players aren't picking Nana. Why? Just why? Here are the best builds and emblems for you to stomp your enemies out of existence. Tarizla enters the scene with a pick rate of 1%. As a fighter, his damage output is immense, especially when he is allowed to get close to his targets. Tarizla's durability and slow yet powerful attacks makes him a formidable presence in prolonged engagements. His passive increases his damage resistance as his health decreases, making him harder to take down in fights. If you're willing to embrace his slower attack speed for higher impact hits, Terizla can be a game changer. And he's so strong, so so strong. Check out this video if you are in a squad. You will have some of the best lineups that you can use to always win. Here are the suggested builds and emblems to make your smashing even more powerful. Up next, we have Kerry at a pick rate of 1.14% who is known for shredding through tanks with her two damage capabilities. Her mobility and rapid-fire skills allows her to maintain distance while consistently dealing damage. In a meta filled with durable heroes, Kerry's ability to melt high health opponents makes her a valuable pick for any team looking to counter bulky compositions. She is just so good. Even though she might not be that good with the defense item nerves, she is still amazing at what she is supposed to do. Here are the sister builds to melt your enemies faster and faster. Finally, we have our Lord with a pick rate of 1.53%. It's our Lord man, he's always good. Our Lord's unique skill set allows him to excel in both initiating fights and escaping from tight situations. His ability to manipulate his positioning and that of his enemies gives him a unique edge in controlling the battlefield. Our Lord versatility can be major asset in both offensive and defensive strategies, and his ultimate is just amazing to catch your enemies out of position. He can also just shred throughout the entire team like they are nothing. Here is your suggested build and emblem for you to make your enemies into donuts. So guys, what do you think? Which other hero did you think I missed out on? Will you be using these heroes? Comment down all your thoughts below. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.